Okay, hi. I'm uh, Puri Vateli from Helsinki, Riesborg. And uh, this is the Gothenburg Free Friendship Guilds wrestling event Ring and Gothenburg 2016. And we are showing a technique that I like to do. It's from uh, Hans Dahlhofer's book from 1467. And it's actually a couple of techniques. And uh, the point here is that when you train uh, ring and techniques, I think that you can take parts from one technique and parts from another technique and as long as they are quite similar actually in the sources and uh, not explicitly say that you can't do this and this together then you can make uh, like a like third technique out of two techniques so here I'm gonna show <coughs> quite simple thing we are in a clinch it's a symmetrical one we have the neck and, and over the arm grab and here, what I'm going to do is that um, I pull with my hand here, if you can see this, that I grip around the neck as long as far as I can, because the human skull, it's not really that round. There's an angle here and also the ear that you can grab if you want to. And then you can pull and twist the head to the side. And this moves the shoulders and the spine like here. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice way to unbalance somebody by pulling from the head. And this I combine with taking the arm here and pushing it up. And this is a quite nice unbalancing move. So here I make space also here between our hips with this move. And then I just do the regular move from, uh, by crossing our feet. So we show it from this side. Here, <laughs> feet back crossed. My right, right uh, leg goes behind his right leg. And the same thing also works with the, with my other leg. Oh, sorry, I said for my right leg, but I mean, meant my left leg and his left leg. Anyway, so now my right leg goes behind his left leg. But the technique is the same. I just block his leg from retreating or regaining the balance. But the setup is the same. You twist on the head, push up from the arm. With the jackets, also, this is very nice because from here you can grip the sleeve of the jacket and get a very nice grip. But without the jackets, I like to just grip the arm. If I get the thumb here, then I can push quite far. But uh, that's, that's about uh, this setup here. This comes pretty much straight from the sources in the version that I step across with my left thigh behind his left thigh. This is straight from the sources. This one, not so much. But uh, there are other other leg sweeps in Talhofer where you go with the same leg behind, behind the leg. But uh, then we can do the same thing from uh, similar grips. One situation that happens a lot in wrestling um, is that be people get the clinch, they go for the neck clinch. They want to grab the other person's le uh, neck and usually, because many sources do not explicitly uh, work with this situation, people don't know what to do, except of course techniques from other arts, but from like ring and sources this just goes like this and then maybe Julius will pummel pummel his way to my neck and we just do this and nothing happens. Yeah, but <clears throat> I can use the same principle as Talhoff shows with the other technique that I twist the head and pull one shoulder down and the other up. I can use it with two hands also. And here I use the shape of the skull to get the same the uh, hand which is under goes around the skull. If I can I pull his head quite close to mine, so the head can't escape. And then the other arm just secures it, and then I twist, just the same, like this. And sometimes you can just twist somebody down, especially if Julius is one of those wrestlers who really come forward and tries to get to my body, and he really comes forward, then I just twist and it's a snap down. But how Tauhofer shows, in the previous ones that we take the leg and make use of it. And I have this grip. You can also sweep 
the leg. So it's a setup for a leg speed. And also, like, I was doing like a cross, a cross with my right foot behind his right foot. Also, I can use the other leg. Just block the forward moving leg. The choice depends uh, basically just on how my legs are positioned. If my uh, right leg is quite forward and he's coming forward then maybe maybe i'll just put a little bit little bit my um, i put my weight back a bit and just walk like this this is the easy way i don't have to move a lot because it, there's a danger sometimes but if I go here, and Julius regains his balance, and I'm in a shitty position. But that doesn't happen so much if I have a strong setup, and I use my forward leg just to kick a bit. And uh, it's safe, in a sense, and it's uh, quite fast, and sometimes you can also make somebody to attack by just pushing forward with your elbows, when he comes, release the head and use his momentum to take him down. And that's that's about it. With jackets also works because here you have the grips you can use the shoulders also for this. But gripping here without the jackets, even with the jackets, is quite nice because I really take a tight grip of his head and twist in his head is in very tight spots just with the arms that go like this and that's that's how i like to use this position from dalhoff who's 1467